Hey everyone, uh, today we will be looking at installing a inch and a quarter receiver hitch on a Honda Accord. Uh, it's a fairly simple install, uh, it's not too difficult um, and uh, this will be able to use for towing small trailers or any uh, towing accessories such as cargo carriers or bike racks, so let's get into it. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. Okay, so taking a look at the hitch here, uh, we'll have three different connections. Uh, we have the two on the sides, and these will be connected to the frame. And then we have one here in the middle, which will be connected to the tow hook underneath the vehicle. And depending on the year, depends on the holes, but we'll show you that one when we get to there. So taking a look underneath the vehicle here, our attachment point will be this furthest hole to the rear of the vehicle. That is where the carriage bolt will be connected to the hitch. And then here in the center is where we will be hooking a U-bolt onto the tow hook and then moving to the passenger side. As we can see, the exhaust is right here and we can't really get to the other attachment point. So we will have to uh, move to our first step in the installation, which is uh, removing or lowering the exhaust and getting access to that hole. To remove the exhaust, or to lower the exhaust, let's dive that over. <clears throat> All right, so our first step is to lower the exhaust, and it is held on right here by a uh, rubber isolator, and we will be removing that just by sliding it right off of the metal connectors right there. Now that we have that first uh, rubber isolator removed, uh, we can see that there's a still a little bit of play, but we could use a little bit more to give us a little bit more room in there for the next step. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this uh, rubber isolator as well. Um, and when we re re or remove that, we're gonna go ahead and strap it up before so it doesn't uh, fall too bad. So. We're going to leave it just a little loose and go ahead and take off. <clears throat> okay, for our next step, we'll be removing the heat shield. And that has four bolts, 10 millimeter bolts that are connected. Uh, one right here on the edge, one up top. There's one back here in the corner and one last one in this back corner. And we'll just be using a 10 millimeter socket to remove those. Now that we can see into the frame, now that the exhaust is out of the way, we see that this most rear hole right here is where we will be bringing the bolt through. Uh, we will we'll be using a carriage bolt and we'll be pulling it through this access hole right here, uh, but we'll need to enlarge it as the uh, block doesn't fit through. And we'll just be using a drill to do that. 
so we're just going to use a drill bit right here and make it a little bit larger. Now that we have enlarged the hole just a little bit, we will just make sure that it fits in. So we'll be able to uh, put that bolt in, but we'll have to repeat that same process on the other side. Test it out and see if we've made it large enough. We could use a little bit more. Now that both access holes are large enough, we'll go ahead and fish wire the bolts into position. Okay, so before we pull the carriage bolt um, into position, uh, we're just gonna test it out a little bit. Uh, you can see that it, it's really tight. There's not a whole ton of room. Um, so we want to enlarge it just a little bit so we don't get stuck or um, end up pulling the fish wire off or anything like that. So we're just gonna use the reamer and go ahead and enlarge that just a bit. And we'll just go ahead and test that again. So we can see that it's uh, much better and that'll give us the access that we need. And we'll go ahead and repeat that. Um, perfect. Okay, now that we have those enlarged, uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab our fish wire and we're gonna take the side that has, uh, that will screw in with the bolt and we'll go ahead and insert that where we want the bolt to end up and we'll push all the way to our access hole. And we'll go ahead and screw that on. Now we'll take the block first. Put the block in first and then we'll put the bolt and pull it through and we'll leave the fish wire on and we'll go ahead and repeat that on the passenger side. So we're going to go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. All right, our next step, we're gonna take the U-bolt. We're gonna go and put that around the tow hook. And now that we have everything in place, we're gonna go ahead and bring the hitch into position. Okay, to bring the hitch into position, we'll be using our U-Haul hitch jack. Uh, this will hold the hitch into position as we line it all up. Um, if you're by yourself, uh, we recommend getting an extra pair of hands just so you can steady it with two people and be able to line it up without um, any issues. So we'll go ahead and raise that into position. Now as we get it close to position, we're gonna take our fish wire and we're gonna loop it right through 
the hole to help us line it up and we're going to do it on the driver's side as well. And on the hitch there's two separate holes for the U-bolt depending on the year of your Accord will depend on which, which set to use, so just, just check your instructions to see which one uh, pertains to yours. Uh, now once we have the hitch lined up, we'll go ahead and remove the fish wire, and we will loosely put on the conical washer with the teeth facing up. And then on the U-bolt right here, we will loosely put on the same process. We'll be using a conical washer with the teeth facing up, followed by the nut. and then we'll move to the passenger side. Okay, now with all the bolts in place, we'll go ahead and tighten those down. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten those down. We're gonna be using an 11 16 socket and a five inch extension. We'll be using our torque wrench to get that um, put on. And we'll go ahead and repeat the same on the passenger side. And then the U-bolt will also take the 11 16 so we'll go ahead and tighten those down as well. So for our next step, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the heat shield. Uh, the instructions say that it may or may not need trimming, um, it depends on uh, the vehicle, but um, when we put it up, we notice that it, it's just a very minimal cut that we'll have to do. Um, we'll just have to trim it up just right up here where the hitch overlaps just a little bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you just to take a look. When you go ahead and pull it in position, you can see that right over here, um, it comes into the way, doesn't let it go flush. So we're just gonna cut a little bit right off at an angle and so we can put up the hate shield. All right, so making the cut, we've determined that we're gonna come down to this where it lips right here. And we're just gonna come down to where it ends and then come straight across at a right angle and take off this section right here and we should be able to have enough space to put that up. And we're just gonna be using these clippers too. And we'll come kind of close to the hole, but we'll still leave it where it's accessible. Okay. And then now that we have our initial cut, we'll go, we'll go ahead and test it again. Just to make sure. That should be able to work, so we'll go ahead and uh, bolt it back down. We're going to go ahead and just loosely line up everything before we tighten it up. Now that we have those loosely in, we're going to go ahead and tighten those down. 
Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and use a 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and tighten those down. Okay, now that we have the heat shield in position, we'll go ahead and bring the exhaust back up. We'll start in the back and we'll connect that isolator and then we'll reconnect to the one up front. Okay, once we have that isolator on, we'll move to the most rear end of the vehicle and we'll put this one on. This one can be a little bit uh, tight and uh, a little bit more difficult to put on, so we're gonna go ahead and spray it with some soapy water just to help um, slide it on easier. We'll get it into the holes. All right guys, we got our hitch in place and we got the heat shield trimmed up and the exhaust up. So now we're gonna go ahead and just take off our strap, pull it down on level ground and take a look at some of the measurements. All right, now that we've completed the hitch install, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the measurements on it. Uh, if you look at it from the ground to the top of the receiver, um, opening of the receiver, it comes at about 11 and a half inches uh, to give you an idea of what kind of rise or drop that you would need. And the hitch does extend past the bumper just a bit. Uh, to be exact, it's about an inch and a half. Um, so when selecting a drawbar or any other accessory, you shouldn't have any issues with uh, any vertical uh, post or anything like that. But uh, now that we've completed that, uh, we hope that you enjoy using your trailer hitch and that uh, you can have fun adventures out there while using it and happy trailering. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.